cheapest price, online reviews, number of years in business. How do you choose the best solar contractor as we're going into 2024? In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you the five factors you have to consider to make sure that you select the right solar installer for your project. I know that a lot of the encouragement, a lot of the information online would lead homeowners to believe that all solar is pretty much the same and they can shop just based on cheapest price or cheapest price per watt. And I've got to say that nothing can be farther from the truth. You know, when you're investing in a solar project, you're not just buying an off the shelf product. What you're really doing is you're, you're purchasing a construction project and a contractor to execute that project for you. And in most cases, a 25 year warranty guarantee that they're going to keep that system online and healthy for you for the entire lifetime of the system. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you the five factors that you've gotta consider as you select your solar contractor. And the first one is just time in business. You know, solar, just like any business, when, when the industry is young, there's a lot of companies that wanna get into the space because they're very, they're very excited. They see a lot of upside and, and a lot of opportunity. However, the failure rate of those young companies is very, very high. And so statistically speaking, over 80% of new businesses are out of business within the first five years. And so when you're choosing a solar contractor, what you really wanna be asking yourself is, is this the, the contractor, is this the company that I have the most confidence in that they're going to be a reliable partner over the entire 25 years of the system. And one of the easiest ways to gauge that is simply how long have they been in business? You know, but very simply, statistically speaking, the longer a company has been in business, the more likely they are to remain in business. And of course, again, that, that's what you want as a reliable long-term partner when you're talking about considering investing in a 25 year asset like a solar power system. Now, the next thing you wanna consider is, are they offering different equipment options for your solar system? Now, some solar companies are, are organized for high volume. They look at the solar is pretty much all the same. Their goal is to get as much glass on the roof as fast as possible so they can then move on to the next project and keep sort of churning, churning, churning through uh, with more solar projects. Now, companies like that, in, in my opinion, I don't recommend because not every solar equipment is going to be the best match for you as a homeowner. Uh, especially now as we're in 2024, where there's a number of new options that have come onto the market in terms of solar technology, uh, particularly battery technology. I can count at least a dozen new solar battery providers that have entered the market in the past 12 months. Uh, and, and there are some significant differences between the different options. So I don't like to recommend a solar contractor that's only offering you one solar panel or one battery or one inverter. Uh, in fact, the way the process should go is your system designer or your sales representative should be interviewing you to find out exactly what your needs and goals are and then presenting the various equipment options and, and what they recommend as the best match based on your unique situation. Now, the third thing you're gonna wanna check, of course, are the online reviews. And although there are a number of games that contractors can play today to sort of hack or get around the online review process or, or, or artificially inflate their online reputation. You do wanna look at online reviews and, and make sure that you find reviews that sound genuine, where they can tell a specific story of what the process was like working with that contractor and where they sound like they would have a positive opinion towards working with the company again in the future and recommending the company to a friend or neighbor. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Sunboy. If you're a solar installer looking to boost referrals while lowering your fleet maintenance cost, then you need to take a look at Sunvoy. Sunvoy is the first solar customer portal built by contractors for contractors. It gives solar installers a white labeled app with their custom branding for homeowners to use from the minute they sign up through the 30 year life of the system. System owners can track their solar project in real time and see all of their energy data from over 30 inverter and battery manufacturers, all from within the app. So if you're ready to elevate your customer experience and maximize referrals, then go directly to the Sunboy website or click the link in the description below so that you can get signed up right away. Now, the fourth thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is the financial stability of the contractor. Now, a lot of times this can be difficult to gauge as a homeowner. 
Um, if, if you were to, for example, if you were to ask to see the financial statement of the contractor, generally that, that's not something that the sales representative is going to be able to provide for you. But you want to look for indications that the company is growing steadily, is profitable and financially stable. Now, one, one way you can go about doing this is asking the sales rep, what is the status of the company's warranty service reserve or what percentage of income is held in a warranty service reserve. Now, what we're talking about here is cash that's held on each solar project in anticipation of future warranty service that may need to be performed by the contractor. Now, again, most of these solar systems today are coming with a 25 year guarantee, which means the contractor should be budgeting a portion of their earnings to pay for future warranty service or maintenance expense that's likely to come up down the road. Now, if they can't give you a specific number or if they sound like they don't even understand what, what the term warranty service reserve means, that could be an indication that the contractor is not on as financially stable ground as you would like a 25 year long-term partner to be. And the fifth item is to consider third party warranty insurance. Now, the nice thing about having a third party solar warranty is that you're not putting all your eggs in one basket as far as the solar contractor's finances. You have typically a much larger, more established solar warranty company that's willing to guarantee the performance of the system. Now, the other advantage of working with a third party warranty provider is that they will do more detailed vetting on the contractor than, than typically what you can do as a homeowner. You know, as a homeowner, you can do things like check online reviews, check the Better Business Bureau, you can check with your state contractor licensing board to see if there have been any, any complaints filed with the state. But beyond that, there's not a whole lot you can do to look underneath the hood of the business. Whereas a third party solar insurance or solar warranty provider is going to be able to look at the internal financials of the business, uh, other more solar specific performance data to really get an idea of is that contractor on stable ground? Are they performing well? Are they profitable? and are they a reliable long-term partner? So this has been a discussion of the five factors that you have to consider when choosing the best solar company. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed so that you can stay up to date with us. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar power options for your home, or you're in the process of interviewing different solar installers for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have one or two, and you need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the correct equipment and getting a fair deal, um, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a call with a solar expert or just use our free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage should cost in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.